6.1 Kiss FM. What's going on? Awesome. Where did y'all go? I was on the phone with you one time, and I heard you doing um, that song by Rihanna. I was like, that's so weird, because it's weird when I hear you changing all the songs. Oh, yeah, 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 you can, yeah. We, we have a thing called the, dang, that's the wrong thing. We have this thing called the Segway Editor that you can go in and get something. With technology, it's amazing. So, like, right here, I can actually, we call it segwaying. I can seg up my next element that, that'll play next. Like, when I came down to get you, I had another song lined up, so I just let the computer run it. But I had typed it up the way I wanted it to sound before I came down to get you. It's just the way I can do it. Like right here, this is the, this is Turn Me On, this plane right here. Then this is the next song, okay? So. This is fun in your chat. You obviously want it, to, you want it to be tight. Yeah. So if I moved it down here, it would sound stupid. It would sound very low. This is fun in your checking out. Power I tighten it up so you bring it back so it sounds a lot more high. This is fun in your checking out. Power power station. Station. And, then, and then see, I set it where I want it. This is fun. And then I hit save to log, and it saves it just like that. So it'll, it'll play it exactly like that. When you save it, it'll save just like that. And I can get the next one ready, too. This is going to be a jingle. So. So there. And that, see, so I'm good until, I'm good for 10 minutes. Next time I talk is between LMFAO and Wiz Khalifa. Okay, so that's all I got. Okay, go for okay, it. Okay, so your full name, unless that's super secret because you're a DJ. Uh, let's make up one. How about Stanley Marsh? Okay, I like that. Stanley Marsh. Okay. What about your place of birth, your college, and your high school? 82881, went to Tascosa High School, was a rebel in Amarillo, Texas. Still a rebel. Um, and what did you ask? Yes, college? Yes. Went to West Texas A&M University in small little canyon, Texas, which is about... 15 minutes south of Amarillo. Cool. Uh, what's your favorite quote? Wow, this is a fun one. I just, I don't know who says it, but uh, it's so true. It, it's like, you might not always remember what somebody said or what somebody did, but you'll always remember how they made you feel. I like it. Love it. It's, my, it's been my favorite quote lately. What about your favorite book? Um, <laughs> I don't read. I mean, I read, but I don't read books. I really don't. I'm, t I'm too energetic, and I fall asleep if I read one page. Okay, well, this should this should go for you. What's your favorite song, and what is it? How does it best represent your life? Oh man, I wish I had these questions ahead of time. I don't know. There's so many. I love music. <laughs> I just love. I've, I came out of the womb dancing to music. You can ask my mom. I love everything, which is interesting. I love rock. Rock is my first love. I'm a rocker. You a rocker? Do I'm a rocker. I love it. Metallica is my favorite band of all time. Of all time. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to get back to you on the song. I, I, I love music so much. I mean, I have so many songs that I love. I couldn't just pick one out. What does it mean to be a leader? Um, I never really consider myself a leader, but um, I don't know. It's just nice to be able to talk to people. And you know what's interesting? I consider myself a leader, especially with you know people like you or other teenagers that might hit me up on Facebook. And then they'll, ask, they'll literally ask me about their problems. And I can sit there and tell them how I feel about it and help them through it. I've helped so many teenagers through their problems just on Facebook. It's amazing what social network is doing these days and how easily I can interact with them where, you know, I mean, you know, kids are so suicidal these days. I mean, it's crazy. So anything you say, they're so sensitive. So you got to be really careful. And it's, I take it really seriously. So I'd like to help out, you know. Who's the role model for you? Um, I'm a huge Bill O'Reilly fan on Fox News. I think the guy's a patriot and I think he shoots it straight from the hip. I think he's real. Um, there's probably a lot of people that don't like Bill O'Reilly, but I've followed him, um, I'd say, since the early 2000s. And I, that's one show I DVR every night. He's somebody I would love to have dinner with. Another person I would love to have dinner with is uh, George W. Bush. Mm -hmm. Just love to sit down. And not even really talk politics, just because I think he's just a, a fun guy. I think it'd just be fun to just sit down and shoot the crap with the president, you know? And then he lives here. I just, I've always been a huge fan, so that would be entertaining for me. Well, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Uh, strengths are definitely radio. Um, my weakness, I'm very impatient. I'm the most impatient person you'll ever meet. When I want something done, I want it now. 
because I know what it takes to get the job done. It's just like if you have a slow computer, you know, and you're trying to get something done in like an hour time frame. you got a slow computer, it's not going to get done for a couple hours. Well, I can't deal with that, so I'll just go buy a new computer. I'll throw the one I'm working on out the window, and I'll go buy another one. I just have no patience. I just don't. It's something I have to work on. I'm getting better all the time, but I don't have any patience. That's great. What's, uh, what's your favorite subject in school and why? Um, I was very good at, like, language arts. I just, I love words. I play hanging with friends all the time. I, actually, I have probably 20 games going right now I can show you on my phone. I play, I always have at least the maximum amount of games all the time on hanging with friends because I love words so much. And I win about 90% of the time. And that's not even being cocky. That's, that's true fact. I do get beat once in a while by somebody that's good, but... I love hanging with friends. How did you stay focused through school and college? Um, actually, just the, the support of my family, really, because it was so easy to get sidetracked, because I was already, I already had a full-time job in radio, and a lot of people actually go to school for this kind of thing, but I, I was very fortunate I didn't have to. My dad had uh, an easy foot in the door for me just by being in the business, so I kind of got in, but he actually always advised not to get in it because there's no money, and I said, well... Anytime you work your butt off to get to the top, you're going to make money. This is market five in the country. Dallas-Fort Worth is market five. So I, I always wanted to do nights at Kiss in Dallas, and here I am. I'm actually doing the dream job. I'm proof that the dream exists. <laughs> okay, this is the proof. What motivated you to finish college? Um, you know, it's funny. I didn't finish college. I got 80 hours in, and I was, so, I was making my mom's life so miserable. I lived at home until I was 24 because I was saving all my money, you know. Uh, I got along with my stepdad and mom, so... No shame in living at home till you're 24, kids, but as long as you have a job and you're working your butt off. Um, but yeah, I didn't finish college. I got tired of it at 80 hours. I should have just finished because I was so close, but I was out. I got suspended. <laughs> I was on academic suspension. For, uh, I had to go in front of the dean and try to get myself reinstated. And, and I just I wasn't a big fan of him, so I said, I don't need your school. I'm going to be successful without you. And so I went and did my own thing. Here you are. Here we are. So uh, why did you choose this profession? Just, I love music, like, it goes back to the whole music, I, I just love it, and I, people ask me, do you like the music you play? Well, of course I do, I couldn't sit here and play this every night if I didn't like it. I couldn't be on a country station, I couldn't be on a country station because I don't like the music enough. Um, I could do a rock station, I could do Top 40 all day long, I've got the personality for Top 40, and I always have, and I'm, I mean, I've been doing it since, I got my first paid job at 13, I had a Mickey Mouse voice though, so I was like, hi, it's Kiss FM! My name is Cruz, you know, so I was like, oh, God, I hope I get a voice. And then 15 rolled around, I finally started getting a voice, and I wasn't very good with words on air, because it, it takes time. Anybody, a lot of people say they, anybody can be a jock. No, you can't. It takes time to get exactly where you want to be and be molded as the pro kind of professional you want to be, so. So, uh, did you have another profession? Um, no, I don't know what I would do. Probably be cleaning somebody's pool somewhere. I mean, who knows? I have too much personality, though. I would do something personality driven I don't know what maybe go out for an actor job I don't know uh, what activities are you most involved in napping and working out nice that's I do three shows a day and they, t they require a lot of energy so when I'm done with my first round I come up here about 11 o'clock in the morning knock out two shows for other markets and then I go home and nap or I'll work out right after and then I'll nap and then I come back up here to do Dallas live for five hours so naps are they're awesome what are your Were you expecting something just like crazy, like, oh, I'm playing a soccer league or something? I wish. I, I, would, I wish I had more time to do that kind of stuff. I just don't. So you don't have any hobbies? Not really. <laughs> Radio's my hobby. It really is. Are there any regrets or would you like to change anything? Nope. Wouldn't change anything. Not even crappy managers that I've worked with in the past. I feel like anybody that you meet on the way up, it was destined to happen, and it makes you, you learn so many lessons from it, and it makes you stronger all the way through. It just does. I mean... You, I almost suggest for people to work for a-holes on the way up because it gives you a chance to really appreciate the people that you admire. Like the like my boss now, I'm like so reluctant to be working with him because he's he's a warrior like I am. He loves to go to battle, and I'm right there with him. I mean, he says jump, I say how high because I know what it takes to win. And I think it's important. We've got the perfect storm at KISS right now. That's why we're the number one station in the market. And that's why we kill it because everybody's on the same page, and we all know what we want to do to win. And we get it done every day. We don't come in here. Nobody slacks off. It's 100% every day. Would you agree? You listen. I, I would agree. I listen every day. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. Um, what financial obstacles have you encountered? I've actually been very fortunate. My uh, parents were pretty middle of the road as far as, you know, wealthy. But I, uh, I just always, I never wanted to struggle. That's what I always told my parents. I never want to struggle. So I, uh, I, just, I just busted my butt and I worked hard. And I knew where I wanted to get. I knew I was going to have to 
I knew I was going to have to maybe go to a couple of markets before I got to the big market I wanted to stay in for a while. And I went to Austin for about five years and loved it. Too weird for me, though. So <laughs> North Texas is where I belong. So I'm happy to be in Dallas and doing what I love on the biggest station. So one of the, it's one of the most respected top 40 stations in the country. So to be a part of it is pretty incredible. And we, I mean, we've been nominated, like, see these awards right here? The, the Marconi is like the most prestigious award you can win in the radio industry. And we've been nominated several times. That's another one there. We just got nominated. We didn't win, but we got nominated. So hopefully while I'm here, we'll get a Marconi, because I can actually put that on my resume. I'd be like, hey, I was a part of a Marconi winning station. That's sick. Go ahead. Um, did your parents agree with your path? Nope, not at first. They, uh, my mom was scared to death and wanted me to stay in college. And I felt bad. I was going to college for my parents. You need to go to college for yourself. If you want to do it, I think there's people that are built for college and people that are not. I didn't. I didn't like getting up early in the morning and doing all that. It wasn't something I liked to do, but I already had a career in mind, so I was going for it. And I was headstrong about it. It wasn't like, ah, I think I may do this. I was like, I'm going for it. And so I finally, that's telling my parents that I was, especially my mom, it kind of broke her heart that I was dropping out of college because she wanted me so bad to get a, a degree. And I said, sorry, Mom, I hate it. You know, I'm making our lives miserable. I said, I'm just, just let me do what I want to do. And so she understands it now, but at the time she was really nervous. All right, talk, talk time. Oh, man. Reminds me of summertime 2011, summertime 2012 on its way. It's 106.1 Kiss FM. Brand new Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, get a good look at this console. This is one of the coolest consoles. I mean, I don't know what everything does. I know about what half of it does. I think up at the top you could probably do air traffic control too. I could probably guide <laughs> planes in to Addison Airport. I don't know. It does everything though. It's pretty cool. I love the meters. Just the way it lights up. In the dark, it really looks cool. Really cool. It looks like a Star Trek board, you know? <laughs> so it's pretty cool. What else you got? Um, what advice would you give somebody about the future? Uh, on what? Anything. Life. Just life? Just uh, find something that you like to do and go for it. That's what I did. I mean, I loved... I mean, whatever... Don't try to force something that you're not good at. If you're not good at something... I mean, it could be anything. If you're into working out, become a nutritionist or, you know, get into, um, you know, get into training. You know, train people. I mean... Whatever you like to do, do it. If you like to wash cars, go wash cars and work your way up and become a manager at a car wash and, and then own your own car wash because you saw how it was done. It could be anything, you know? I mean, just because I'm doing radio, I mean, one of these days maybe I'll be a program director making really, really big bucks. I mean, because I've worked my way up and I've seen how it is. I've seen how the music works. You just kind of, and a lot of people don't think radio is a business. I mean, it is fun and we make it sound fun, but it's a business at the end of the day. I mean, that's why you hear commercials. A lot of people hate commercials, but that's how we get paid. If people aren't advertising with us, we don't get paid. So what, there would be no point in us being here. I was just skipping all the commercials. I know, but they're, they're important. Are you following your heart? Yes. You are? I'm following my little heart. Following it right right, yeah, right yeah, down the path. So do you plan to retire from this, this profession? Is there something else you want to do? Mm, I could. No, not necessarily. I mean, this is what I love to do. It's, you know, I think it's important to want to go to your job every day. People, I think, that don't like their jobs go in and they're, they underperform and it gives you no ambition to work your way up. You know, if you're doing something you love, you're actually going to have a passion for it, and you're going to work harder to get there. That's what. That's how I feel about radio. I just want to see how far I can go, and of course, all the perks that come with it. You get to meet cool celebs all the time. So it's, and you know, and people like you go out to bars and stuff. You get drinks bought for you. It's it's a it's a really cool thing. You know, people bought me meals before that recognize me. It's kind of cool. I mean, there's some fun perks to the job for sure. We got to ride the Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast at Six Flags just because we're with the media. They want us to ride it first so we can tell people about it. And I'm like, that's not work. They're like, you got to go do this. I'm like, oh, I got to do it. I want to do it. Okay. I'll go do it. Yeah, right? It's fun. Oh, and I added this last question. Who's your best friend? My best friend? Um, I have two. One right now I'm kind of mad at because he works in communications, but he's the worst communicator ever. His name is Lawrence. And uh, he works for AT&T and got a job in Chicago. And I miss the guy, but he's a horrible communicator, so I'm kind of mad at him right now. But my other best friend lives with me, and I've known him for 27 years. We've been through everything together, fist fights. You name it. We've, I mean, just best friends. His name's Ryan, and uh, he's a lunatic. If you guys can meet him, us together, we're, we're, we're too much to handle. Okay. We really are, but we're a good time, so. Well, thanks. Well, you're welcome. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Sweet. Thank you.